up? It's your girl VV in the building and I am making a video response to my girl, the creative lady. What's up girl? You just did a video called the creative lady has job burnout living your dreams. Okay. <laughs> Let me tell you something. You are not alone. And a lot of times we feel as if we shouldn't feel that way in an economy when everything is going haywire when uh, Republican and Democratic parties are not working with our president when different states are suffering worse than others economically and uh, leading up to that I live in Michigan and if you look at the news uh, national news wherever you are uh, YouTube if you look at the national news Michigan is in a drought and um, it's really bad I work for the city of Detroit workforce development department I am an administrative assistant and welfare reform auditor for our Michigan works program <sighs> I've been with the city of Detroit for almost 16 years January 29th will mark my 16th year and I'm tired um, I'm tired because of the following reasons three years ago my union was forced to take a 10% pay cut and then if that wasn't enough they took our longevity and longevity is at the end of the year you are compensated for the years that you've uh, given service if it's over five years you get well you used to get a hundred and fifty dollars if it was ten years you got um, three hundred and fifty and after twenty years it was seven hundred and fifty dollars in addition to your regular paycheck so that was snatched and then about five months ago he told our unions that the mayor when I say he the mayor told our unions it wasn't negotiable uh, we had to give up 10 percent as well as 30 percent increase in our health insurance so that's a total of 40 percent pay cut uh, recently yesterday there was a news conference that the mayor had with all of the union presidents uh, for all of the all of the locals for the city of Detroit employees and this was what was said he needs 10 more percent of our pay in addition to 30 more percent increase in our health insurance now Oh, I'm sorry. Ooh. I was getting ready to cry. So anyway, I'm at a juxtaposition in my life. As I've told you in many videos, ooh. I'm going to get it together. I'm sorry. As I've told you guys, in so many of my videos I'm over 40 I'm currently working on my master's degree in um, in psychology with a concentration in industrial organizational psychology because I have a passion for employees and and how they're treated that's why I'm crying I'm sorry so where where are we now? We're at we're at a crossroads because now the mayor is saying that we are facing financial insolvency. And if you don't know what that means, it means that our city, our state is going into receivership. Our educational uh Piece here in Detroit uh, DPS teachers took pay cuts and they uh, lost their sick time 
because DPS went into financial insolvency over two years ago. We've lost over 100 high schools as a result. They've closed down and now our children are, uh, It's we have a lot of charter schools, which means some of the teachers have been, no, not some, I'm sorry, over 100 teachers have been laid off. Some have had to be brought, been uh, brought back because they couldn't do it without them. Uh, but they're not giving them any more pay. Uh, my best friend, she works at one of our high schools here in Michigan, and it's it's gotten really bad that some of the teachers have just walked out because they can't eat, they can't pay their bills, like us, like us. Um, so this was supposed to be a response to you, wasn't it? Miss creative lady but I, I the response is this don't feel bad because you're suffering from burnout America is suffering from burnout um, what I wanted to say was as a result uh, well let me roll back because you were speaking of your undergrad and your grad degrees I have my undergrad it's in business administration um, I, I got the undergrad in a brick-and-mortar school called Davenport University here in Michigan over let me see back in 2008 and that was in August November of that same year I went back to work on my masters and um, I have two more courses to take I'm in one right now consultation psychology and um, coaching psychology and then I have two more research methods and qualitative uh, a qualitative project at the end for my thesis and um, I'll be done with my masters and I have tons of student loans um, oh I feel like oh y'all gotta excuse me I don't know how to edit so I didn't know this was gonna be as emotional as it has become about a year ago I made a decision to resign and and I <laughs> have not done that yet but I am going to do it um, <laughs> as of this year and we've only got a couple of more months so I'm looking at December to turn in my resignation um, because now um, as of yesterday the mayor wants our pension Paul I said the mayor wants our pension. I wish I could do the African export. The mayor wants our... Yeah. He wants our life savings. That means you work all your life, 30 years, and then you retire with nothing. I understand your pain creative lady I understand you're wanting to walk out and to that end this is what brings me to it um, as I said a couple of years ago I made a decision to resign um, because I went to Texas and I liked what I saw and my best friend down there she said Crystal if you ready let's go you can stay with me and my kids. Come on down. And um, I think I am. No promise of a job. I've been looking. Let me say that. I've, I've been putting, I've been pushing resumes out on every website known to man. Snag a job, career builder, LinkedIn. I have a, I have a page on LinkedIn. <laughs> You name it, I put up tons of resumes, cover letters that are the bomb.com. I have even my current school working with me to find a job. It's like, yeah, but I'm, I'm leaving. I've had it. I won't let you take my pension. Um, anybody that, that's out there that knows the power of prayer, I'm asking that you pray. 
for the city of Detroit employees because we are so devastated right now. Um, you talking 80% pay cut. I'm almost making what I used to make when I first got the job 16 years ago. And it's hard. But um, what I wanted to share was this book that gave me my get up and go in the midst of all this. And the name of the book is What's Really Holding You Back by Valerie Burton. She's a, um, a life coach. She's a renowned life coach. She's, she's gone everywhere. And uh, she's got tons of books that are out. Uh, one page, I've written all through this book. Um, one chapter is called, Are Your Goals Vivid and Specific? Develop a Clear Strategy. Be clear about your vision. Set specific written goals. You've all heard this before. Set only those goals you feel led to pursue. Drop any goals that lead you away from your vision. Set a deadline. Then create a timeline. Let go of all excuses as to why you can't reach the goal. Maintain your focus. Um, another piece that spoke so clearly to me was, Joy, not fear, is God's will for your life. To make decisions out of fear is to throw away the power and sound mind God has given us. And I, I know everybody is not into the whole, you may not know or have a relationship with, with Christ, but I do. I'm trusting him. Even though I can't trace him, I'm trusting him. Uh, Charles Caps, he's like one of my favorite preachers. He says something that spoke so clearly to me. And he amplified a scripture that said, faith without works is dead. And he said, what that means is faith without corresponding actions is dead. So your faith has to move. It has to grow feet. Um, <laughs> okay, I'm not going to start preaching because I, I feel the preacher inside. But um, she has a chock full of things in here that would just sound goodies for me uh, when I took the first pay cut. Uh, so, yeah, this is the book. It's, you know, chock full of good stuff. I'm telling you, for those of you that feel a, a gap or just feel like you, you need to close up that gap between where you are and where you need to be, um, another person that just blessed me, and this is getting too long, so I'm going to end it, but just blessed me in um, something she said on one of her uh, messages. Her name is Dr. Cindy Trim, and she said, your mind will never take you where your feet have never been, and that is so true. You can't go where you've never been. If you have a vision, the Bible says, write the vision and make it plain. And I have a vision statement. It's, it's just clear I have to walk in it. And, and faith doesn't always tell you step by step, this is what you do first. Step B, I mean, step two, step three, step four. Sometimes you just have to say, okay, you know what, God? This is what I'm going to do. And I need you to back me up. So to... Um, the creative lady and anybody else that, that views this video if, you know I was looking at who is sugar shout out to my girl um, she she took a phenomenal leap of faith and she left her job she said she came home and sat down you know you have to re you have to constantly reinvent yourself for me I'm getting ready to resign and relocate to a state that I only spent a weekend never lived in Texas. I've been in Michigan all my life. Worked for this job for 16 years. 
Yeah, I got a bachelor's degree. Yeah, I'm almost done with my master's program. Okay. So to that end, you know, um, to my, my subbies and to the creative lady, I commend you. Your burnout is not in vain. You got a lot of people that suffer from the same thing, lady. And I commend you on whatever decision that you make. I know that you know who holds your hand. I know you know who holds your hand. So it's, it's, it's not um, something that you're doing haphazardly. You prayed about it. You, you stayed on your face, I know. And if you haven't, get on your face. And don't get up until he say so. So um, I just pray for us. It's just, it's really crazy right now. I, I, I just pray that we don't have another riot like the one back in 1967. Uh, but if, if they take our pension. <laughs> okay, so anyway, I love you guys. Love you, love you all. My new subbies, love y'all.